Show. This is Stephanie Miller. Tune in weekday mornings at 8. It's your voice and your opinions, but it's my show. On Madison's Progressive Talk, the mic 92.1. past the hour um, you know it, it it really is sometimes it's very painful for me to uh, face reality about my own country and, and what's happened to my political system and what my political system has been like for the past century plus that's the hard part that's the hard part when um, you know when you go back and really take a look starting uh, at the turn of the 20th century go back there and uh, then just move forward from that. That's when uh, the United States, the leadership of the United States, the, the corporate leadership and the political leadership decided that we were going to become a global force to deal with. And the rest of the world better watch out because here we came. And it didn't make any difference if the rest of the world consisted of Europeans or Africans or Asians or South Americans or Central Americans. Uh, the U.S. was going to come out with guns blazing, kicking ass and taking names. And... The, the 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 history that we were taught uh, as as each decade progressed, the the previous decade's history, uh, until we got up to the point where we had about fifty years of this kind of murderous insanity, and it was all spun to make it appear to us kids that were in school. Uh, in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, and 70s, and, and 80s, and 90s. You know, it, it, it was made to appear to us that we were this almost holy place where no, no matter what we did, it, it was either divinely uh, inspired or guided, or it was a matter of uh, noblesse oblige, since we were the top of the heap, it was our job to go out and, and murder whom we chose and, and then save the, the, the starving masses from a, a dictator and put in place of the dictator uh, some kind of a corporate entity that, I'll be damned, would just wind up with more starving masses. You know what I'm saying? But so much of that was hidden, right? Just read Howard Zinn. Uh, read this new one that I got uh, at, at Christmas, this book, uh, uh, the guy that did, uh, yeah, Oliver Stone's book. Yeah, uh, the, the history. He and and uh, another writer. It was a, a ten part series, I think. On uh, somebody told me it was Cinemax or HB or whatever. Uh, and it's okay. You don't have to correct me on any of this. But if you read those two histories, and I swear to God, that is exactly what uh, we uh, will soon be doing with Molly, so that she understands. Um, but from my own point of view, you know, I, I want to love and respect the place I live and, 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 and the people that uh, I used to think that I had a hand in electing to govern me and to make decisions about uh, my economic, economic uh, development and my global presence and, you know, and part of the family of man. I wanted to elect people who were going to uh, open, uh, uh, welcome the world or embrace the world with open arms, which we still do. It's just that in each hand of those open arms are hand grenades with the pins pulled out. And now we don't even do that. We don't even have to do that. We use drones. We target people. And now the Defense Department is coming up with a new medal, the first medal since the Bronze Star of 19... What What did I say last night? 1944? And it's going to be awarded to these pasty-faced little bastards that sit in office complexes around, uh, around the planet and the United States in, in front of a computer terminal guiding Hellfire missiles... that are attached to the, the bellies of these drones or the underwings or wherever. I don't care where they're attached. And then on, on command, off they go. And the next thing you know, a whole bunch of people dead, bloodied, turned into garbage. 
And then you have people, usually people in uh, uh, odd to Americans, outfits, you know, funny looking head, head, headbands and headdresses and, and gowns and leggings. And, uh, and, but across their chests, they have belts full of bullets and carried in their arms. They have RPGs and they raise their fists to the sky and they swear revenge on this country if it takes a thousand goddamn years there will be revenge on this country what are we doing so how do you live in that these united states at this time and pretend like oh well you know we're and all of a sudden all that stuff that i was taught how about you it it won't come up it won't come out it gets stuck in my throat it makes me feel like i'm going to vomit makes me it hits the gag reflex wait a second wait 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 what 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 is this what's going on when did it when do what when did this happen and that's when you have to go back to uh, a billion years ago back to 1898 american empire right 